everyone, welcome to the third and last part of our Spaceman tutorial. And he is ready for color. Let's bring him to life. For this video, we will be using mainly Adobe Photoshop. We will be using the lasso, dropper, and bucket tools. First, we select and group the entire line art. Right click and select group. Clicking on one part selects everything. That's how you know they're all grouped. Now we drag the line art to an open Photoshop canvas or file. One may also use Illustrator to color, but this is another option. In Photoshop, we will use the Bucket Tool or G shortcut to quickly fill in color. First, we duplicate our layer so that we have our original to go back to, in case we make really big mistakes. To make the coloring process faster, we have a color palette prepared beforehand. With the dropper tool or eye shortcut, we can select the color we want. And with the bucket tool or G shortcut, we can directly apply color to specific parts. Now onto the gloves. And the glove is done. The same process goes for the rest of the line art. Let's speed up the process. It's useful to zoom in to color really small areas. And now we are done with the base layer of color. We will also be adding a layer of basic shading to give a little more depth. Next, we add a new layer on which we will do our shading. We will be using the lasso tool or the L key. The first shadow we'll tackle is the helmets. Since the catch lights on the helmet are on the top left, the shadow should be opposite that, bottom right. Simply start from a point and click along to create the selected area. Afterwards, we can use the dropper and bucket tool to apply color. Done! Now using the dropper tool or eye shortcut, we select the color we want in this case, a darker gray. Oops, nothing happened. Apparently, the layer we are working on was hidden behind the base color layer. We have to bring the new layer on top. That's better. But the shadows are on top of the line art. Let's arrange again. Much better. Be careful how you arrange your layers. Next, Let's do the helmet attachment. We'll just follow along this line and color it a light gray. Notice how the shadow is nicely hidden behind the thick line art and the base color layer is under the shadow. Not to worry if the wrong color was selected, just use the dropper tool, pick the right color, and use the bucket tool to transfer it. It's 
looking too jagged on this part of the shadow. We can use the lasso tool again to select the area and then delete it. Next, the arm shadows. Let's skip ahead and see what we've got so far. So far so good! Let's continue! When applying shadows, always be mindful of which direction the light comes from and how shapes are shaded in reality. It helps very much to have references or practicing shading when drawing on paper. Hopefully, these tips can be useful for future projects. Got any tips and tricks to share? Please comment it down below. See you, and thank you for watching.